It's the dog days of summer, y'all, and it's been hot. So today, we're gonna be targeting a species that you can count on catching any time of the year. Stick with me, jig heads. This should be a good one. There's another one. Oh, putting up a heck of a fight. This one's a beautiful fish. Alright guys, pretty simple stuff here. Just gonna use a 16th ounce ice fishing jig under a float with some wax worms. We're gonna be popping us some big old bluegill today. Bluegill are fun, man. You can catch them things any time of the year. And I tell you what, for as some of them get pretty big, but for as small as they are, man, they pull like a freight train. Yeah, I tell you what, my initial game plan was to come out here and do this with a cane pole. Had lots of you guys commenting that you loved that last cane pole video, and so I wanted to come out here with that, but I tell you what, those new, new cane poles, they're not quite as durable as those old school ones. I was putting some new line on it after that last trip and pulled the eyelet right off of the, the darn tip of the thing and so it was useless to me. So we're out here with just old trusty. There's one right out there in front of us. Oh, he fell off. Oh, no, 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 stay here. That's a good one. Lucky we got him. He popped off right there at the bank, but that's what you're looking, that's what we're looking for right there, y'all. Nice mess of them, we'll be in good shape. Let's see if there's another one right out in that area. Yep. There we go. Another fat daddy. Oh, he's peeing all over me. Oh, stop it. Pretty colors on that one too, y'all. Yeah, I tell you what, bluegill fishing's fun. It's uh, pretty much where everybody gets their start for the most part, I think. At least that's how I got started. Popping bluegill. One of the first fish I learned how to clean as well. Anged old thief. Stole another one. There's a good one. That's a darn good one, you guys. Check him out. Beautiful fish. And I tell you what, like I said, these are just a ton of fun, man. Take your kids out, get on some nice big bluegill. They'll have a blast all afternoon. Didn't miss him that time though, did I? Oh. Little known fact, guys. I am notorious for dropping fish. You can ask my brother, the editor. I can't tell you how many drops he's edited out of my videos in the past, but for some reason, fish just love to fall off the hook or jump right out of my hand. That's all right though, that one made it in the basket. There's another one. Oh, he's putting up a heck of a fight. Yeah, that's a beaut. Tell you what, I've been fan casting around here, and they all just seem to be right out in front of me. This one's a beautiful fish. Simple. I can't tell you how simple it is to just fish for some bluegill. You don't necessarily have to use these ice fishing jigs. Just get you a little hook and a red worm, split shot and a float, and you're in business. Night crawler piece of hot dog. Bluegill are one of the easiest fish to catch and you can catch them year round. Dog days of summer when it's hot as all get out, you come out here and just put a hurting on these fish and have all kinds of fun. Mm. 
boom just like that tell you what guys i really wish i would have had that cane pole in operation tonight because catching these bluegill on that cane pole would have been even more fun than this i'm almost cane poling them because shoot i'm not even hardly far enough out to even make a cast i'm just kind of flipping it out there to them dropping it right in front of their face and they just keep hammering it he thieved me again my god he did we may switch up to some red worms here in a second something out there keeps thieving all my bait and that is the one problem with bluegill they are little bait thieves you gotta watch that See there, one cast out, one bait gone. That's all right, we'll get another one out there. One thing I will tell you too, guys, bring a lot of bait. You're gonna cruise through bait like crazy fishing for bluegill. The other option, pick up some brush nails from brush pile jigs. Those things work just as good as any live bait and you don't get them stolen all the time which is the bonus there's another one that's a good one that ain't as good as i thought but it'll do dang the old snake trying to get into my fish basket now go on I see you over there. All right, we're gonna change things up. We're gonna throw a little red worm action at them. Good thing about a red worm, you can also pick up some bass, some catfish. Red worm catch darn near anything in the lake. And that's it, y'all. Again, that simple split shot i don't know what size hook that is little old float package of red worms one thing i will tell you with the red worms try and get as much of the worm on the hook as possible the little parts you leave hanging off are the parts that them bluegill peck right off of that hook all right let's see if we can catch us one I tell you what, they've kind of slowed down on us right there, so we're going to walk down here on the other edge of this weed bed, try on the, try on the edge of it, see what happens. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's a chunker. We'll take that one all day long. Well, I tell you what, I only want one more keeper. We got nine keepers in the basket, guys. And I'm feeling like some bluegill po' boys. So, I want to put this one more in the basket because I do believe I'm going to be cooking these up for you guys. Just one more good keeper. There's one. That ain't, I don't know if that's a bluegill. I think that might be a bass. Nope. It's a tanker, y'all. Look at this stud. Whoo wee. We might have to pitch down there a couple more times now. We're gonna pull out big old fat daddies like that. Yeah, that fella ain't messing around. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to set this big fella go. And the reason being is if you want to protect your population, you got to let some of these big boys go. And this one's an awful pretty fish. There'll be another keeper. Whew. 
dang, that was a good one. Let's see if there's another one sitting down that way. There's one. That'll do the trick. Number nine, uh, number 10. I've already got number nine. All right, y'all, we got our 10. I'll check back in with you back at the kitchen. Jig heads, welcome to the porch. It's lunchtime and we're gonna be cooking up some bluegill po' boys. All right guys, I cleaned these bluegill up this morning. I fillet these the exact same way that I do crappie. I'll actually drop a link to that video in the description below so you guys can check that out. Oh my goodness. Look at these beautiful bluegill fillets. These are gonna make some awesome sandwiches. So we're going to be double dredging these today guys, get them extra crispy. Uh, double dredge, we're going to hit them in the flour, in the egg wash, back in the flour, and into the fryer. Uh, flour mixture is a seasoned flour. We got some Old Bay, some garlic powder, salt pepper in there. All right, guys, we got a good coating on these fish. Again, we're gonna put these back into the uh, flour after we get them on a little egg wash. Now, the key thing, guys, is once you get that second coating of flour on here, let these fillets rest a little bit. It'll allow that coating to really set up and fry a lot better for you. All right, here we go, jig heads. Time to make the magic happen. All right, y'all, while these are cooking up, let's talk sandwich prep. Po' boys are pretty simple, guys. Uh, we just got some pickles, some tomatoes, some fresh leaf lettuce right out of the garden, hoagie roll, and a little hot sauce mayo combo. Oh yeah, those are looking tasty. This right here is the best part of summer backyard fish fries, warm weather, and mm, some crispy bluegill. All right, guys, you may not be able to catch them on the couch, but you can sure eat them on the couch. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more content, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Hmm. That is a tasty sandwich.